It's unpredictable me. Yeah, unpredictable me. It's unpredictable, unpredictable, unpredictable me. Yeah. Hi y'all, this is your girl Amber and welcome to Unpredictable Me. Today I'm having White Castle. So go get your plates, grab your food, and come sit down to eat with me. And while you're at it, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you can get future notifications every time Unpredictable Me drops a new video. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoy. Now, let's get ready for this countdown. What am I going to start with first? Oh, I think I'm going to do the burger. Three, two, one, go. I love White Castle, you guys. I can't forget my drink. I got both root beer and I got a Coke. I just love my pop. And I got honey mustard because I got altogether 10 original sliders with cheese. And I got two orders of fries and one small order of chicken rings. So my unpredictables, what you all been up to? Now me personally, I cannot wait until places start opening up again. I must go into the movies. I especially miss going to the gym. I think I'm gonna put some salt on my fries. So restaurants, they don't really put salt on their fries. They used to, but they don't really do anymore. One thing I love, I love french fries. Like, I love White Castle for a lot of their stuff I like. I know they have breakfast. I've never had their breakfast. So, have any of you guys ever ordered breakfast from White, from White Castle? I always see it every time I go there and order food. I see it on the billboard on the menu, but I never thought to get any. I mean, I never thought to get the breakfast. I noticed it's more expensive than the actual burgers. You know, normally I do not like, I'm like picky with honey mustard, but it goes really good with this chick with this chicken.
I want to try some different. Because normally with the dip, I always get the zesty sauce. So I was curious to see how the honey mustard would taste. I like it. It's got like a salty, sweet taste to it. My favorite, one of my favorite desserts that they have there at uh, White Castle is uh, I have their chocolate fudge cake on the stick. That was really good. I was surprised at a little fudge cake. But I one time I had 10 burgers from White Castle, 10 sliders. And then I had the fudge cake and I was full. I was just full instantly. It was full like I had a big meal. Because if you think about it, White Castle burgers, they don't really fill you up. Unless you have like a real big amount. I wonder what the burger will taste like with the honey mustard. I'm gonna dip it in there. That was really freaking good. This is better than regular mustard. left so what are you guys planning on doing when everything opens back up are you guys excited are you scared to go back out The other day when I went to go take out the, the garbage, my next door neighbor, he was looking at me like I was insane because I went outside without a face mask. I went outside with no face mask, no gloves, and I figured like, what does it matter? All I'm doing is just taking out the garbage. It's not like I'm a... Uh, it's not like I'm interacting with no people when I go take out the garbage. I really don't talk to my neighbors. Today when I went outside it was like it was like 64 degrees out. And you can tell when it's hot out. 
because you start to see you start to see flies and bees. I saw this big bee. This thing was huge. It was a bumblebee. It was like that big. It was like practically the size of my thumb. I don't know, so I take out the garbage. As soon as I saw that thing, I dropped in the trash, dropped the garbage in the trash can, and then I took off running in the house. So I know, so I know them bees, they, they run this time, they're angry because the weather is like bipolar. It's like one day one day it's like hot out and the next day it's like 40 45 degrees out. But in the summertime, you start to see a lot of nature, a lot of nature wildlife come out. Like in our neighborhood, every every so often you'll see like a you'll see like a coyote in the woods. You'll definitely see raccoons and possums and rabbits and then in the daytime just when you think it's safe you gotta worry about the, the bees and the hornets one thing I don't like is in the summertime going to the zoo but with all the bushes and flowers that are out they expect you there to just eat outside all willy nilly. I can't do that. I'm not comfortable. <clears throat> I'm not one of those people that like eating outside. Like as soon as I see a bee, I become the type to just go eat in the house. So my unpredictables, what, what is something you would say that you're afraid of? Uh, whether it's wildlife or spiders, is there anything that's like nature related that you're afraid of? To me personally, I know I can never go camping. No, I would I would go hunting with no problem. But camping, I don't know about camping.
like a lot of kids, <clears throat> I know a lot of people used to put their kid in summer camp. I was never in summer camp like uh like actual camp. It was more like uh it was more like day camp. Or I would go to one of the schools in the neighborhood. And there'd be a lot of kids that would be there. And then from there we would walk from the school to the park. And the park would have a pool. My park district growing up had a, had a pool, then the water slide. And it was like right by my house. Like I was like right across the street from the park. And then I looked about it once I got to a certain age, like when I got to like 12 years old, I was able to go to uh, the park district gym and they didn't ask me for no ID. Like if you want to sign up for a gym membership, you got, if you sign yourself up, you got to be about 18. But if you want to go with an adult, you got to be about uh, 14. So at the time, because I was like kind of a chunky kid, they just automatically assumed that I was 18 when I was actually 12. Like the way that I look now. Uh, my body still looks the same as it did when I was in, uh, in junior high. I was pretty much the same. I was like still between like 150 and 160. By the time I was a little shorter, so I looked chunkier. I was about five foot five. And the young 16 year old girls that worked there, that's how I looked like I was about their age, so they never carded me. All of them that did, they'd be like, they would ask for the money up front for like the three month membership. I'm gonna take my picture and I have my like my gym ID. And I can just go there at any time. It was so easy because it was like right across the street. And it was so close that like I sometimes would go to that gym like three times a day for an hour or three times a day for like an hour and a half. Like if I was bored at home and had nothing to do. I had so much fun eating and talking with my unpredictables. But now it's time to close out. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you can get future notifications every time unpredictable me drops a new video. Thank you all for watching. Peace out, y'all. I love you. Bye.